Hello everybody, it's the Baron here with another satisfactory video. So last time I did a video, I kind of rushed through an area that was still under construction. And I said, don't look on the left, that's all being built. Um, I've done a lot of that now. That's 80% finished. There's still more to do, but I thought I would do a part one of two parts of the town that I am building and show you yeah some of the things that I've been up to so last time I came down here as you can still see there's still stuff down there that's not done but I'll show you what has been done because it might inspire you for things in your own world so we just pull in here and here as you can see we have the shopping mall so the shopping mall has most of the items in the game that I'm currently creating coming to it. Not all of them. Some of them are in like little satellite shops nearby. Um, but most of them are, have come here. And all these little shops have got their own names. You know, the wire shop. It's a steel. I mean, some of them are <laughs> more humorous. Uh, I think over here I've got... Funny little names. You know, big fish, little fish, fish for the boxes. <laughs> if people can relate to that. <laughs> Rubber Johnnies. Iron Man. Crystal Tips, yeah. So they all got like little names. Um, everything's like, I still got my usual maintenance staff only to get into the, into the nitty gritty of what's going on underneath. All the rows of... There's like floors underneath here of assemblers and... Um, manufacturers and then there's floors of just the wiring uh, and the conveyor belts just have a quick show on you a lot of it's empty, loads of room to do more As you can see there's like a floor then of just conveyors and then there'll be another floor down here of manufacturers there's an underground car park that I'm trying to sort out down there that'll be part of part two of the city where it expands a lot more so this is the shopping center and then if we go up here there's actually another glass passage out that way that's going to go to a bunch of other shops i'm going to build on that side but over here we can go through a little glass passage here and we come out in the town proper so I have my fuel stations, which are regularly dotted around my whole road network now. Whereby either a truck will come here purely just to fill up fuel and drop off fuel. Just so that I can grab fuel easily for my jetpack. Or as I drive around, I can just quickly drive past the fuel pipe and refill. But there's also various truck stops like these around the map where some of the trucks are dropping off materials. So we've got all my usual advertising. Um, you got Screw It, the screw shop here at the front. This is new. Again, it's, um, it's a place whereby it has all my various things for circuit breaking and isolating various machines. Three screws. There's a food shop. That's not kitted out inside yet. So here we have an energy bank. You're probably thinking, how does that work? So it has an energy bank whereby you've got withdraw and deposit lines. But really the energy bank is just a storage for surplus energy, for backups. So if we go down into the vault here, um, it's still not filled out, but there's a bunch of capacitors and that down there that'll be storing energy. At the moment, they are feeding the streetlights at night as well. But they're also a bit of a buffer so that when I'm changing things around the town, if I make a mistake and cut the wrong wire, it's okay. It'll, you know, quickly the buffers will take over and buy me the time to fix it. Concrete Charlie. The Concrete Charlie actually is... Uh, I used to play American football when I was younger. And it was one of my... Um, you know, fellow players, a friend on the team, but he's passed away now, sadly, so I actually made a little, uh, 
little memorial for him in here. Concrete Charlie's. But of course, you get concrete from there. So you go there, you get free concrete. I got loads of places dotted around the whole of my map whereby it's just creating concrete so that I can build little satellite bases very quickly, very easily. Got a guns and ammo place. If you go down here, there's like another way into the electricity bank. I'm gonna make a little pack bit there. Uh, the Vidal of Steel, a bit of a Conan reference there for my steelworks. So, yet again, power supplies, it all happens downstairs. It's a little bit, I think, upstairs. But all the actions are downstairs. There is a parkland by here, so you can go down to the parkland. And wander around, there's no dangerous creatures. Somewhere for my truck drivers to take their time off. <laughs> Everything down here is relatively tidied up underneath. Um, most of this stuff under the city here is actually passageways whereby various conveyors and things that go along. A little bit of wire poking out there when I clean that up. Um, but yeah, it's mainly various passageways for things to move along and have a quick look inside some factories. Doing their thing, and a screw factory there. This area then will finally come out at another car park area, which I'll be finishing off. That goes off down to other locations I've got on the map in that northern area up there. Interesting fact for you when you're doing your designs. These railings here, they occupy the same space as the side panel. So that's why I've raised the side panel on this side. Because you can't actually have a side panel and a railing on an angle. You can have them on the side like this. So if you've got a wall piece, you can put the railings on top. But on a, a diagonal down, you can't. It's either the diagonal wall piece or a railing on top. You, you can't do both. So the only way around it really is like I've got here is where you raise the, the wall side piece. Just a little factoid for you there. Like the, they are basically, I think the, the downward angled railings, these downward angled railings are actually a side piece it's the way the games added them i think so you can't actually have a wall angle underneath right so there there you go that's um part one of my town as you can understand it's a lot of work to get this all done and all functional so they've got lots of little buildings producing various items and sending it to the main base which is now a big shopping center um, and I plan to move a few more pieces of production out from my main shopping mall to little side cottage industries like these so that they can then a it's more interesting if you've got small little shops around the place but also it reduces the pressure on the amount of actual manufacturing machines I need underneath my main base so that I can double up and triple up on items that I need a lot more of, make some more space by shoving some of the, the lesser um, items off into nearby buildings, or not so much lesser. For example, say like you know, the steel, etc., where I'm producing a lot of it, that needs a building all of its own somewhere else. It'll take up far too much room if it was actually within inside this building. So, uh, that's got to be moved. <laughs> so I'm hoping you're enjoying what you're seeing. Maybe it's giving you some ideas of things you can build on your satisfactory playthrough. Um, I will do a part two of my city once it's done. But to be honest, the way this game plays through, I need to go and spend some more time now getting more energy, getting more aluminum sorted, uh, sort out some other parts getting my drone network flying around so my part 2 of the city 
might not be the next video. I might actually end up doing other videos showing other things that I'm doing before we get the part two and the finished town. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying that. Leave uh, any comments and ideas that you have yourself and uh, any questions you have. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.